Um, this is her basically telling the baby it's time to go off and be your own kangaroo. Stop hanging around mom. Uh, now we have a mama kangaroo can have a baby going mom? inside of her and a joey in her mouth at the same exact time, noise? which makes for a great reproductive system. They're going to be all around, and they love to lay around, so you'll probably see them sleeping in the grass. Now, the male kangaroos will be usually be a darker red, a little bit longer, uh, while the females will be slightly grayer and a little bit smaller. We do have a joey kangaroo, and he is very shy. It's, uh, actually, whenever he uh, hears the truck coming, he will jump inside his mother's pouch. Uh, sometimes, big first, and you'll just see his feet sticking out about it. It looks so silly. There's a couple of our kangaroos on the right, and some emails, and I'll tell you a little bit more about them in a little bit. We have a bird hanging around on the other side. Now, these funky looking birds, these are emus. Um, there's some hunting in the grass there. Now, emus are a form of flightless bird, and they belong to the rat type family, along with the ostrich and the rhea. Unlike the ostrich and the rhea, there are no differences between male and female, but you might be able to see that blue coloration on their necks. That actually coincides to the color of their eggs. Their eggs are going to be that bluish color. They look a little bit freaky if you ask me, but uh, it's the animal's majestic in its own way. Coming up on the left hand side, you'll see a bunch more of our kangaroos. They like to hang out here and just uh, typically just laze around all day. I haven't seen them do much. Maybe change positions since we got to the butt, but other than that, they've been pretty. Uh, Alrighty. In the next section we will be entering is Tigris Asiana, home to our Bengal and Siberian tigers. Now before we see you, uh, Heluel is going to tell you a little bit more about them. Yep. Like Kirill, uh, they can be a butterscotch coloration and white orange with butterscotch stripes, and they can be an all white coloration and white tiger with white stripes. Again, this is Kirill. They have a sprinkler system going, so he's kind of cool, cooling off in a little bit of water. Now, um, the all white tiger is the rarest tiger form in the earth, in earth, and a lot of experts actually uh, suggest that the all white tiger is extinct in the wild. So let's hope that's not true, because in a recent poll. 73 countries voted the tiger to be their favorite animal. Oh, tigers. Alright, going up on the right hand side, we still have a little ways to go, but we will see them shortly. These tigers might look very familiar to you. Well, this is because these were the tigers in our tiger show a couple of years ago. You remember that? Yeah. Uh, now, the tiger show has been canceled, as you guys probably know, and the tigers have now been retired. They live out here, and they are loving it, actually. They have this huge enclosure. Plus plenty of birds. Now you might see Pete the cow, one of the stars, chilling in the water. They love the water. First time I've seen Pete the cow in the water. Now they are native to temperate to tropical waters. Well, unlike the Siberian tiger coming up on the left hand side, the Siberian tiger is uh, native to northern areas. You guys can think northern Russia for them, colder, harsher uh, winter for them. They have no color variations. They will always be orange and black with white bellies. And they are larger than the Jamaican tigers. Now, the tigers only need one sixth of the light we need to see by. Um, a couple of white black Jamaican tigers too, along with pink cow. Now, they only need one sixth of the light we need to see by, which makes them crepuscular animals. Uh, they will do most of their activity at dawn and dusk, and will hunt at dawn and dusk. You might see these huge watering enclosures in both yeah. uh, tiger exhibits. The only reason for this is because um. Now, uh, the reason for this is 
actually prefer our great swimmers and they love the water. They actually use the water as a way to hunt. They would pull it up in the water and since it's so hard for um friendly people to move through the water, they're able to overcome their prey a lot easier. And these are our Bengal and Siberian tigers. Anyone have any questions about them? Alright, as we prepare to leave the safari, the wild family would like to say goodbye. Once the gate comes down, 